Amber Heard claims fake juror sabotaged the trial. I'm Melissa Malati, your host, and let's jump right into it. Well, she's back again, folks, and this time Amber Heard is allegedly claiming that one of the jurors that was part of her defamation trial against Johnny Depp may not have actually been the person summoned. Hmm. Allegedly, the actress has asked the judge to toss the whole case and she wants to do a do over, claiming that there was no substantial evidence and a fake juror. Yikes. No substantial evidence? Ah, just you admitting that you hit Johnny many times at the fact that while on the stand, you had a Freudian slip and said that you did write the op ed about Johnny, but. Whatever. Apparently, Amber's lawyers have filed new documents in Virginia asking the judge to set aside the verdict in favor of Johnny entirely or to order a new trial. Anyone who watched the trial knows that the judge was so done with the trial as it was closing that it really feels unlikely that she would opt for another six weeks, but who knows? But it will be interesting to see if she waives the verdict in favor of Johnny. Johnny Depp's lawyer Ben Chu has gone on to comment that they were expecting this and that not Nothing was substantial in her motion. A spokesperson for Heard has gone on to comment as to why she is appealing, saying, You don't ask for a pardon if you are innocent, and you don't decline to appeal if you know you are right. Interesting. Well, that's not entirely true. You would if you've been publicly humiliated and have lost all chance of being hired again in your profession. Also, I'm sure the narcissists of the world never give up either when their reputation is on the line, so. There's that too. Allegedly, this juror, Juror 15, that Heard's team is claiming could be fake, was supposed to be born in 1945, which would make the juror 77 years old, when apparently he looks more like he was born in the 1970s. Honestly, not that I want this trial to be scrapped, but I kind of hope this man was actually born in the 40s because what a compliment that is. I also hope, if proven to be real, that he shares his anti aging routine with the world because he is obviously doing something. Right, if he appears to be almost 30 years younger. Regardless, if this juror is real or if he is actually filling in for his older father or not, the rest of the jurors we know for certain are real and they decided this fate. And so you would think that it shouldn't change much, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Do you think the judge will dismiss the trial and bring us a part two? Would love to know your thoughts in the comment section below. I'm Alyssa Lottie, your host, and I'll see you next time on Information Overload. Have a good day.